So I've shown you what the continue block experience is like for learners. Now let me show you how to add a continue block to a lesson. So here I am in Rise and I've got my tabs interaction uh, that explains my character's actions for my scenario. And then I've got uh, a text block here and some knowledge check blocks as well. What I want to do is add those continue buttons, one right after this tabs interaction and one again um, right after these knowledge check questions so that I make sure that they complete things before they move ahead. So what I'm going to do here is just uh, mouse over and click the plus sign to open up the blocks library. And then under the divider blocks, you'll find that the continue block is the very first one. Now I've already added my color scheme here. So when it inserts my continue block, it inserts it automatically with the custom colors I've designated for my project, which is great. And you'll see here that under the edit button, I can go in and designate a completion type now for this continue block. So right now I can have it just always show, or I can have it say, um, complete the block directly above. So now they're going to be required to complete that tabs interaction and a completion entails clicking on each tab. Or if I had multiple blocks above this continue block, it would, I could require them to complete all the blocks above. So for our purposes, we're just going to click on complete block directly above. We'll keep that continue label, but we'll change the hint here to say, um, review each character's actions before proceeding. There we go. So that's the hint for that one. And now let's go ahead and insert a continue block um, after our knowledge check questions so that they are forced to complete each of these knowledge check questions before they can access the next lesson. So now I'm going to click the plus sign again. I'll go up here and I'll grab a continue button. And here under the edit menu, I'll select complete all blocks above. So now they will have had to have completed everything above um, this continue block and the default messaging is fine with me. So we're good to go.